I'm Janet Ryan Newell, and I am the senior psychologist with Kellis Counseling. We're an agency group in South Edmonton, an agency group of psychologists. I'm here today to talk to you about some very good reasons to not come to counseling. Let me see, I can kind of organize them for you, so we'll start with, it hurts too much. It hurts too much to come to counseling, it hurts too much to come to therapy and empty out the pain or the worry or the wounds or the distress or the confusion, and that's true, it does hurt. But I would challenge the thought that it hurts too much because I'm suggesting that perhaps it can hurt you more to keep it in and not empty it out. In fact, when we keep pain in and distress in or worry in, it does still come out. It comes out in ways of irritability, it comes out in ways of sharpness or tears or depression or too much sleeping or it comes out in illness. It's important to let those feelings out. Another reason I hear about not going to therapy is it's selfish, it's indulgent, it's all about you. Well, the truth is we have to learn to be compassionate to ourselves before we can be truly healthy and compassionate to somebody else. So is it all about you? Yeah, it's all about you. It's about you being stronger and you being healthier and you making good differences and changes in your life so that those you care about can also benefit from that. How about being embarrassed or ashamed? Often, the very first time I meet somebody, they feel awkward, they feel a little ashamed, they feel a little crazy, and they're worried I'm going to think badly of them. I can tell you a few things. Number one, if you come to psychology or a psychologist, we are, um, we are supporting you in mental health. We are looking at you as people who, in fact, we know you are not crazy. It is not crazy to get help. And we look at you and we don't think poor thoughts about we, you. We think you're amazing for having had the courage to come and to learn and to shift your life. That's very powerful. It's very, very awesome to be part of that journey for us. The last thing is some of you don't believe it'll work. Some of you think, well, it's expensive and it's long and it's, it's not even going to work and I'm not going to be all better. And I went once. I went and saw one guy one time, told him my problems. He said, uh-huh, uh-huh, and I wasn't better. Typically, where you've gotten to in your life hasn't been a one-time event, and it takes longer than one session to heal and to recover and to strengthen and to change your forward path. So mm, does it work? Yes, it does work. Does it work in one session? Probably not. But if it's about you and healing and recovery and getting stronger and becoming who you want to be the f in the future, that's not going to be a quick fix, but it will work. And the final thing I want you to consider when you're looking at all the costs and all the barriers to getting healthy and, and going to therapy or seeing a psychologist, I want you to consider those barriers and think, are the barriers going to be more cost to you than not taking any action? So what is the cost of not taking action? Where do you want to be in two years or three years or five years? How is your marriage going to be in six months? How will your child be? How will you be in one year if you don't get the help that you're looking for right now? So I'm encouraging you to access counseling, access psychology and psychologists. We're trained to be your support system to help you learn, grow. We have strategies, we have ideas, we use humor, and we want to be, be able to give you the tools you need to succeed. Thanks very much.